Hello, and welcome to the fifth video in our DB Wrapper series. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a method for inserting rows into our database. Um, we were able to insert a row with our, our standard query method, but I think we can actually make it easier on ourselves and write less code um, through our application if we write a method for that. So what we're going to do is create a new public function. I'm going to call it insert. Okay. Now insert is going to take two parameters and those parameters are going to be table. So we need to know what table we're inserting to and we need the fields and we'll set that equal to an empty array by default. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to loop through our insert and what I want to do is go ahead and set up a few uh, variables first. So I'm going to say field string, I'm going to set that equal to an empty string and also value string. We'll set that equal to an empty string. All right. Once we have that, what we're going to do, I'm also going to set values equal to an empty array. And we're going to pass table and fields. So remember, um, our SQL for this is going to look something like insert into and then contacts and then we have our fields. So we'll say, you know, actually let's just go ahead and kind of set this up. So field one comma backtick field 2 and then values and then value 1 value oops that gets single quotes oops, dang it value 2 all right so we have our sql statement but in order to make this the best that it can be um, we need this to be reusable. We're going to get rid of the table here and we're going to use this passed in table here. So insert uh, table. So now insert into table. Okay, that's, that's totally fine. Um, but fields is going to be an array. And what I want that the array to look like is something like this where it's uh, field one is equal to value one and so on and so forth. Field two is value two, right? So this is what's gonna be passed into this second parameter here. So we can easily insert rows in our product. So we'll need to loop through that array. So right here above this SQL statement, we're gonna go ahead and create this part of it. So, um, Let's say for each fields um, as field val value, then what we want to do is we're going to add on to our field string. So we're going to concatenate equals. Um, and so remember what this looks like is back tick. So let's go ahead and add our back tick. We just need one back tick there. So back tick, and then we're going to concatenate on our field, and then we're going to concatenate on another back tick. Okay, so just one single back tick, and then it gets a comma. So field, it's back tick, field, back tick, comma. See, back, back tick, field one, back tick, comma, and then it will continue on like that. So uh, let's see, back tick. Um, uh, semicolon. Uh, let's go ahead and also add to our value string. Now remember, we want this to be bound. Um, so for each one of these, we're going to actually do this. I don't know how in the world I keep screwing this up, but well, my mouse, my hand gets too close to my trackpad and then it moves my cursor on me. So what we're going to do in this instance is just 
we're going to say a question mark. Remember, each value is a question mark and then a comma. So that's super easy, the value string. So it's going to be built up with field string and value string. So this will look something like this for each one of our values. And this will be our backtick, you know, field, backtick, field, and so on and so forth. That's the goal, okay? So that's what this loop's going to do. And the last thing we need to do with this loop is put the value into this values array. So in order to do that, we're just going to say value. And then, uh, sorry, this is values equals value. So in this loop, we're saying for each field as field value, we're going to build up this values array. We're going to build up this field string. And we're going to build up this value string. So at the end of that for each loop, um, we're going to have a little bit of trash to clean up here in the way that we have an extra comma on the end of field string and we have an extra comma on the end of value string. So we can clean that up very easily. What we're going to do is say value string is equal to right trim. Um, and we're going to trim value string. And what are we going to trim off of that? Well, it's the comma. I'm also going to go ahead and duplicate that down, and we could say field string. Field string. But we're not going to trim off a comma, we're going to trim off a back tick. Nope. We are actually going to trim off a comma. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Now we have our uh, value string built up and our field string built up and our values array built up. So we can replace this right here with field string. And we're going to replace our values with our value string, which is going to be our question marks. So every insert will actually be bound parameters here. Um, so now that we have our SQL built, um, let's just really quickly let's um, let's do a var dump and let's dump that SQL statement and just kill the page. Just to get a look at how, you know I don't want to get too far along in this method, but let's just go ahead and use this. So the way this is going to work is db insert, and then the table, the first parameter was table, so we're going to pass in contacts, and the next tape, um, actually you know what we'll do, we'll pass in our array contact here, so we'll set that up, so contact is equal to an array, and f name. Curtis, L name, Farham, uh, email, and then we'll say so. Um, uh, cell phone is going to be equal to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and home phone is going to be six three six five 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 four, one two three four. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh the page here, and you can see that we get we var dumped here, so we have um, insert into contacts uh, and then we have our see if I can do some very bad HTML here just to give us a 
give us a little bit of uh, give us a little bit of um, padding or margin here at the top. Normally I make my stuff look a lot nicer than that. What the? Um. All right. Now the only reason I did that. <laughs> It's because I'm sick of trying to scroll down and it's up above my bookmark tab. So anyway, we have this string here. So we can see that insert into contacts and then we have our field. This is our field string. And we have back ticks around, surrounding our field names, which is good. And we have commas in between each one, but we right trim that last comma off. And then we have our values, which are all question marks comma, question marks, and we've right trimmed that comma off as well. So that is that will absolutely work. Um, the last thing that we want to do is also let's var dump before this die. Let's var dump our values here to make sure that that is correct. So we have our string, our SQL statement, and then we have our, uh, our bound um, this is going to be our bound parameters, so Curtis Parhand. So, yeah, so that's all looking good. So let's get back on it now. So let's get rid of this. And so we actually need to run our query to make this happen. So we already, we've already written that query. So we can actually, like I said, we're going to do everything in an if statement to make sure it works, okay? And we're going to say if this query and what does it get passed? Our SQL and our values that are going to be bound onto that. So if if this query, and then we'll do return true, else we're going to return false. And that is it. So now if we actually refresh the page and refresh our database, we have added another row to our database. So our insert is actually working. So let's take a look at that again, how we use that. Um, you can build up your array here, or you can actually do it in line here if you want. I built up the array ahead of time, and then we use it by saying DV insert, giving it a table name, and then passing our fields and values array in. And that's perfect because now we every one of our values are bound. We don't have to worry about SQL injection and it's using PDO. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.